so apparently this past weekend was uh, <clears throat> particularly the 17th uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, apparently a bunch of feminists got upset over Wonder Woman because she doesn't she does not have um, you know, armpit hair. I have to say, uh, you know, most uh, moviegoers, most fans of the character uh, Wonder Woman, if we see a film that Wonder Woman is in, which we saw her last year, uh, Batman vs. Superman, which, um, to me personally, uh, she really didn't add a whole lot of anything except being there and, uh, just, and also, spoiler alert, she saved Batman at the very, at the end of the movie. He was about to get killed and, you know, really, without her, there, the whole film itself would have, I think, gone completely the... The same as it would, you you could have actually placed uh, Superman in there, like he takes the hit for Batman instead, or he goes and just flies real fast and gets Batman out of the uh, cockpit of his uh, his plane that he couldn't get out of because of the seatbelt stuck, can't get out. And, um, yeah. Basically, I thought to myself, like, of all the things to complain about for Wonder Woman, her lack of armpit hair is uh, the big thing we need to talk about. And when I say of all the things to cr uh, critique or really about Wonder Woman, like this new Wonder Woman, it's, I mean, you can, people have, been on multiple sides of this. Like, uh, whether the actress Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, I don't know how her name is pronounced. I've heard a lot of uh, ways her name is pronounced, but um, I'll just call her Gal for the sake of it. Uh, a lot of people have kind of criticized that choice of casting, as well as her how she looks as Wonder Woman Diana Prince and um, it's not because of like the uniform though some have that problems with the way that or not uniform but the outfit the wardrobe of her Wonder Woman costume is um, some have said like you know gal isn't that she's not a very good actress or she's not that great you know and in superheroes today superhero movies today we want you want actors and actresses that are well known in order to that are both have the talent as well as being able to draw people in. Now, Wonder Woman, I'm sure, will obviously make money. Uh, it's a comic book film, and those are really big and popular today in today's world. Um, and uh, you know, you know, you want a good big name as the main character, and and she's not really that, you know, well known. I mean, she was in like a Fast and the Furious movie, which I haven't seen, but I've seen some clips of it with her, and yeah, she's okay. Uh, She's, you know, in those films, though, like the acting, you know, those aren't acting, those films aren't really, um, for, known for their strong acting, you know, they're action movies, you know, if you say your lines very well, and competent enough, 
and you do action scenes very well. And good, good, great. Um, so there's one thing on the fence of that. Um, or one thing that you could throw out there for that could be seen as an actual legit reason as to why maybe the casting of Wonder Woman isn't very good. She's not that good of an actress. I mean, she hasn't done a lot of films either that you could see or you know, she has done very few. It's like her performances aren't just like, oh, she's just outstanding, like she could play anything. It's not one of those circumstances, it seems. Um, not to me, and not to other people, also. Um, but, but, you know, if you feel like she's a good choice, well, then I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to criticize you or anything personally. I mean, I, I've never been a huge Wonder Woman fan. Um, I've always liked Batman, Wolverine, those kind of characters. I've always been more into dark characters. For female characters, like comic book characters, you know, I like, uh, you know, Catwoman's, I've always liked Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn, she's, you know, Batman characters, but I think I've said on this channel before, I, I, I really enjoy Batman in the sense of comic book characters, you know, uh, but, um, you know, yeah, again, in today's world for comic book characters, you want an actor or an actress that is known. I mean, yeah, and yeah, there are people that aren't known. Like, Hugh Jackman wasn't very well known, you know, for Wolverine. And yeah, he was a perfect fit. Um, but... It seems like it today is like you want somebody for certain roles, because when they hear they're gonna do a movie based off of this character or this character is including this movie, the entire fandom, oh the fans, of these characters, they pick who they want. They know who they want, and whether they get their pick or not is, you know, it's just. You know, maybe they're happy, maybe they're not. Um, there's a movie. Um, oh, there's an actress. Um, her name is Gina. Gina Carino. In this movie, Haywire, I have. Um, she's also in Deadpool. Um, a lot of people say she would be the, a perfect. Um, uh, you know, she'd be the, a perfect Wonder Woman, and you know, watching this and, and um, in Deadpool, uh, I could see her as Wonder Woman, and uh, and I think another thing is like for her, for Gal, another thing is. You know, you, because I've said, you know, there is the argument that, you know, you don't have to have a well-known person, like, a, a, in a certain character. Um, but in this day and age, it seems like it helps. I guess, like, for Batman, you know, got Ben Affleck, because, you know, people know him. And whatever your take is on whatever you feel about his Batman is, you know, it's yours. I'm not going to really criticize him. I thought he was all right. He's a decent Batman. But, you know, you know, you know, she, you know, looking at the character, she, 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 well, I could, I could buy her as Wonder Woman. Um, the thing with Gal is, she's a little too thin. Uh, yeah, I know she's trained, but it doesn't look like she has gained a, a good amount of muscle, you know, a, a good amount to really uh, seem like, yeah, this is Wonder Woman. And I don't mean like she has to be ripped, you know, because Wonder Woman has never been ripped, but 
you know, she's thin, yet you you know, you can just tell she has muscle and she's really a very physically fit. Um, where and, and you know, she's like an MMA fighter, I believe. And uh, so you know, she's fairly built, and uh, she's um. And Gal Gadot's five ten. Linda Carter was five nine and a half. Um, and but and Linda Carter did have a good build for Wonder Woman. Gal, you know whatever you think of her, you know, I mean acting is a big part important part of it. Um, and you know people that say that she's not a very good actress, you know. You know, sometimes the right people can get an actress that isn't either an actor or an actress that isn't considered good or at best is just, you know, okay. If you get the right director, they can bring out the talent that's in them. Um, so, you know, it should be better than what we saw in Batman vs. Superman. People aren't usually fond of the character's interpretation right now. Um, and, uh, but, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, the appearance of physique, you know, she doesn't really look Amazon. She doesn't look like an Amazon. Um, and I think that's another thing is like, you know, Amazon women don't, uh, wouldn't have, like, armpit hair. Uh, they, they, and again, like you know, I've just thrown out some legitimate criticisms that one could have towards this Wonder Woman or this interpretation of Wonder Woman. How she doesn't exactly look like the comics, and what superhero movies will never truly look like the comics. And even if they do, will they really be that great of an interpretation? No. Sometimes people want things to look like a certain way. It has to look like the comic. But then when they look like the comic, there's not a lot of substance there, it seems. But, you know, I've... Again, I've given reasons as to why, and then I also came across, while I was looking at all this stuff, there's something from a few years ago, which is why, like, this Gal Gadot is not ever, is not Wonder Woman, and how, basically, it just goes about how she isn't, you know, she doesn't, she isn't, Weight-wise, you know, she doesn't look physically. Not weight-wise, but she doesn't look physically like Wonder Woman. She doesn't have the look of a Amazon uh, princess, Amazon goddess. She doesn't, you know, she's like Amazon warrior is what Wonder Woman is. She doesn't really look like one, and then her acting ability is meh. You know, and you know, and yeah, Regina isn't really well known, or as well known either. Yet, you know, she was good in the Haywire and Deadpool. You know, I could, I could see her as Wonder Woman. Linda Carter was good as Wonder Woman. Uh, but yeah, of all the things to complain about, let's complain about no armpit hair with Wonder Woman. Why is it with feminists obsessed with, like, women, like these feminists today? What is it with them being upset that, oh, these, these, these characters, uh, she, she doesn't have 
armpit hair. Or oh, oh, she she looks thin. Oh, she looks thin and well built. Or this or that. Or, it's like that. There is something wrong when women are thin or hairless. And for you know, in Wonder Woman, you know she it, she has never looked really hairy. She's never had armpit hair. Yeah, she has been thin, but she's never thin like Gal is. You know, usually she looks a little. She looks like she's she's more well built, in that you can tell. Okay, yeah, she has muscle. Um, but she's not ripped. You know, she's that. She's just, you know. She's the right balance of thin yet muscular, the right balance of muscular thin, if you understand what I'm saying, uh, I kind of lo uh, lost uh, words at, at the moment, but, um, that's what I'm trying to say, because, you know, it's just stupid, really, get upset that, oh, Wonder Woman doesn't have any bodily hair, uh, uh, aside from her hair. On the, the on her head and eyebrows. And, you know, I've listed some things you could look at and critique, or you could see and be not completely happy with Wonder Woman. Not just me, but other people. And um, I'll leave a link to that article. Just so you can see. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. Um, but, you know, I happened to stumble across it, and it, it's a few years old. Um, but, you know, so before anyone ever saw Wonder Woman, um, the big screen, so, you know, one could say, oh, well, you shouldn't judge somebody when you haven't seen the film yet. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But then you get you could also look at someone's acting ability in past films and things they've done. You can look at the look of her compared to the look of a character, and they don't really match exactly. Um, I feel like they wanted to go for a very pretty Wonder Woman. Because, you know, like, Gal is very pretty. She's very beautiful. Um, but aside from being beautiful, you know, she needs to look uh, very strong. You know, again, she d doesn't have to be ripped. Wonder Woman's never really been ripped, at least not from what I've ever seen out of the comics or incarnation of, like, cartoons or Brenda Carter's. But, you know, Gal, in my opinion, is a little thin. She doesn't have the look of a uh, of an Amazon, and and her acting is okay, you know. Nothing really spectacular, but you know, you, you want somebody who'd be really great, or who you can see maybe they haven't done that right kind of part, but you can just see some kind of talent. They just got the right role, you know. They just Oh, they be made, you know, in the sense of uh, their act, their acting talent. It will be will be shown in this acting that I've seen from them. It'll be shown, and people will see it, and it, it, it'll just blow people away. You know, and you know, maybe Gal will get that part, but I don't believe personally Wonder Woman will be that character for her. Um, maybe it will. You know, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm. I haven't seen Logan yet, so I'll probably be doing that sometime. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll see Wonder Woman on the big screen. But uh, anyway, you know, I gave some good legitimate complaints. 
none of which were about no arm hair from Gal as her interpretation of Wonder Woman, which is a dumb complaint in my opinion. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I've got today, and uh, see you. See you next time. Bye.